Look back to 1954 and beyond and count, but what letter of the alphabet has retired the most for hurricane names? A, C, F, or I? What do you think, Kendall? Well, first, what do I get if I get it right? Um, I, I think I have like a Snickers bar over there or something. Let's see if that. I'll take it. Um, I'm going to go with the only one that I have actually um, covered a hurricane with the letter of is uh, F. So I'm going to go with choice C for F for Florence. So. Final answer? Final answer. All right, that's very close, but the answer is actually I. So going through all these, F and C had nine retired names, including the first one for C, which was Carol. Florence is one of those Fs as well. A, seven, I, 11 names, I'll name them all. And what's incredible about the letter I, most of them have happened in the new millennium. Since Iris in 2001, we have had them pretty much every couple of years being retired, including Irma, we know that one here locally, Ingrid, Irene, over the past eight years. But especially from 2001, 2010, pretty much almost every year had a retired I name. Our next name on the list is going to be Imelda. I think it's going to be a waiting game for that, but we do have Umberto for the time being, tracking the tropics. This thing has been dancing around, and the main focal point in this has been the Bahamas. They don't need any more rain. They don't need any more damaging winds. Luckily, this is a weak tropical storm, and the new path is good news. Now, the western side is a little bit weaker, so that's going to be affecting the Bahamas. Yes, they will be seeing rain. That six inch mark, I think, is going to be a little bit on the exaggerated side because it looks like this is now making more of a northerly turn. Still upwards to about two to four inches looks to be a guarantee, especially on Marsh Island. So just keep that in mind. But watch, this is now curving away from the United States. So that's a drastic change. It's about 100 miles further off towards the east for our track. Looks like it is going to become Hurricane Umberto by the time you get about Sunday night into Monday. And could it be even affecting some areas in the middle of the Atlantic? such as St. George on the stronger side of that storm is a hurricane category one by next Wednesday night into Thursday. So something to keep an eye on there.